You wouldn't want to get in a battle with Yala Enki too much because he'd stay going. He would, he would out-battle you every time. I suppose it's all to do with jumping. Yala Enki, he's winged that. He's winged that. The others are under pressure. They're off and racing. As we expected, Yala Enki's bound into an early lead. Oh, they've all jumped well. They're all over safely. Nobody's keen, nobody's doing too much. Every horse looks like it's in a good rhythm. Oh, the Arla Enki's got a bit tight into the bottom of that one. That, that fence there, though, the second fence, just draws you into the bottom a little bit. If you don't come on a long stride, it does draw you into the bottom. And you often see a few horses brush the birch air, but I mean, he's a seasoned horse. He knows how, what he's doing. He knows how to get himself out of it. It was quite up for it, actually, Yala and Keys. Keen and jumping well and in a good rhythm now. Fairly spread out. All the horses have got plenty of light and they can see what they're doing. I suppose it's the beauty of a five-runner race that you're not... In a 20-runner handicap, you, you don't see a great deal, but when you have five runners like today, there's not really any excuses. Every horse can see the fence and... If you can't, then you've got loads of room to position yourself into, into a place where you can see. They've all jumped well, Not, no mistakes. It's actually a little bit tricky because you're going into the bend and it's sort of, it's on a corner, isn't it? And it's taking you out to the right hand side and you've got a sharp left hand bend. So if you're not, if you're, if you're half asleep, you, you, you just sort of drift out a little bit. But this one here is quite tricky because it's downhill. Sometimes a few horses fall there just because they're out on their forehand a little bit, as in they're on they're on their head out the other side of it. And then your next is the water. Oh, oh, oh! Mighty Tom, <laughs> he's up to his old tricks again. He's hit that one quite hard. Well, he bet he don't think he did anything. He's jumped the ditch well, anyway. Brilliant piece of riding from um, Niall Houlihan. He's jumped that ditch with no irons. How hard is that to do? Ah, he's, he's done well. He's done very well there. Cause he, was, he was out the side door at the water and he hasn't got, a very, he hasn't got very long until he jumps the ditch. And he's jumped the ditch with no irons, but he's, he's got himself back together now and he's in a good rhythm. So let's hope he jumps this one a bit better. Rocky's treasures in a nice rhythm. He's lobbing away nicely. I mean, he's got a lovely position. He's got a lead. David Bass looks very comfortable on him. Brian Hughes has got a lovely position as well down the inside. He's popping away lovely, not using any energy at all. But um, I think if I was on, if I wanted to be on one of these, I'd be on the horse in front, Yala Enke. He looks really up for it. He's in a good rhythm. He's jumping well. Cheltenham's his track. And he looks like he's enjoying it. How nice is it when you've got like four legs in your feet? Oh, that's nice. You know, you can you can sort of ride your own race, and obviously Bryony's in front. She can take a pull, get a breather into him when she wants. None of the other four runners are taking her on, so she's sort of having a bit of a freebie really, and she's riding riding her own race to to, to how it suits her. But um, yeah, he's in a good rhythm, and he looks really up for it. The Irish horse has been a little bit keen, I suppose. If you had to, if you had to point one out, go another one. He's just, yeah, he's a little bit lit up, which you wouldn't want to be uh, in a three-mile three handicap chase around here. But um, I mean, they've got a long way to go. Hopefully, he'll drop his head in a minute. They're all jumping well. Brian Hughes's horse. He's lob round, follow Bryony down the inside. He hasn't used any energy whatsoever. He's popped away lovely. He hasn't missed a fence at all. I, the only one I'd be a little bit concerned about is the Irish horse. He was a little bit keen for the first mile and a half, but he's in a good rhythm. He's jumping well. Mighty Don just missed that one a little bit. I don't know, he's just under a little bit of pressure. This jumping doesn't help him though. He's, not, he's never in with jumping with any real fluency. You know, there he was a little bit long and he's a bit stretchy, but um, he's still in a, he's still he's still there. He's still in a winnable position and he will stay galloping. Yeah, David Bass has just taken her on a little bit here. Um, 
Oh, they've jumped that well. Yala Enki jumped that really well. He took half a length out of that. Horse in second. Here's where it gets exciting. I mean, Hughes has been in a lovely rhythm the whole way, but I'd probably say Yala Enki because he will stay galloping. That's, I'm only saying that because I know the horse quite well. He, um, he's going to try and eat the stamina out of all the others. I suppose Brian, he knows he stays well. Yeah, but he's, 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 he's still pricking his ears. He's got loads left. Brian's absolutely cantering in behind. Oh, the Irish horse tried to keep him in there. They're all going well. It's any, any of these three could win it. Well, he's obviously trying to hold on. You wouldn't want to get in a battle with Yala Enki too much because he'd stay going. He would, he would out-battle you every time. I suppose it's all to do with jumping. Yala Enki, he's winged that. He's winged that. The others are under pressure. Here comes a mighty Don. Yala Enki's not doing a tap in front. He's, he's, he's pulling it all out. Oh, what a game horse. What a game horse. Look at him pricking his ears there. He's not doing a tap. Ah, oh, he's won really well. The mighty Don stayed on well for second, considering he missed a few fences on the way round. And the other two horses, if they were good enough, they could have won turning in. So, yeah, fair play to Yala Enki. He's such a brave horse. He was at it from sort of three out, and he's galloped on really, really well. Stayed on strongly, jumped the last two great. And, yeah, good ride from Bryony from the front. Very brave horse.